Hi, I'm Ed Silman, the owner and operator of Mini Wedding Wagons. You, this is our wood shop where we make these carriages. We have the small pumpkin wagon here and the assembly of the small, medium, large, and extra large is about the same. So I'll just show you the steps briefly. When you take it out of the box, make sure the UPS label's on top. So when you open it, things come out easily. If you have the label on the bottom, it's a little awkward to take it apart. So here we have the base. You take one end, this is the front end where the spinning axle is, and you take one of these, on the bottom it says front, and the arrow points this way, that would be to the outside. Take three of these little bolts, make sure there's a washer on each one. They go through, they go in these three, three holes. I like to lift it and drop them down so I can easily see when they line up. I'm using a very long Phillips screwdriver to get them started. Do not tighten it at the beginning. You can use a shorter Phillips. It's just a little more awkward because of the handle bumps the top edge here. So I'll use the long one, but you get all three started. And one thing you'll notice is as I'm screwing this in, I'm holding the T-nut. Underneath there's these metal T-nuts and I'm pressing on that because if I push down on this bolt and don't support the T-nut, I can push the T-nut right out. And if that happens, you just push it back in. But uh, make sure that this, this um, overhang, this is lined up nice here. And then I'm tightening all three of these. Okay, I'm now on the second end rail. It said bottom underneath, or actually it said rear underneath, which matches the rear of the carriage. And I make sure that it's lined up and I'm tightening all three of these while I'm holding underneath. Okay, that's those two steps. Now I take it on either side and I just stand it right like that. And here there's an A. On the other side there's a B. So you grab one of these, and it has an A on it right there. So you put the A to the A, and grab four of these bolts. Again, make sure the washers are on, and stick them in. And again, I lift it up, and I line it up, just like that. And then, same thing, you notice I'm holding this T-nut while I'm screwing this in, otherwise it'll pop it out. And again, keep it loose. Don't make it tight yet. As you put all of them in loose and then go back and tighten them all. I take this whole carriage, set it upside down, spin this around so it goes forward, and we have the wheels. We have two 12 inch wheels and two 10 inch wheels. The 10 inch wheels go in the front, the 12 inch wheels go in the back. And in the bag, you have these long lag bolts with two washers on each one. Take one washer off, stick it from the outside, there's no screws. See, on this side you have four screws, that's the inside. So we put the head of the bolt, you might have to bang it like this. Whoops. Sometimes you notice that little bushing pushed out, it'll just slide back in again. It's no big deal. But you have the head of the bolt on the side where there's no screws. You put the washer inside like this and hold this at the hole in the front. And what you see is I have, you can do this a number of ways. I have a, a um, 9 16 socket. That's the easiest. You can also just use an adjustable wrench. So whatever you have but just put this in the hole and just, just turn this in. It will find its own direction because the holes are pre-drilled. And it's not gonna go in super easy because you know we want this nice and snug. So it you know it takes a little bit to screw these in, but it's not very hard. So as I'm screwing this in, I'm just sort of holding it from jumping around. And 
as you get close, what I like to do, see right there, it's not spinning real good. It's a little too tight. So I turn this in back and I just loosen it. See, I'll spin this until it's got a tiny bit of drag, but it's, it's not wobbling. So that one's done. Do the same thing, I'm just finishing back. with the last wheel. So now all four wheels are on. It's not that heavy. You just pick the whole thing up and turn it over on its wheels. And you can use 7 16th open end wrenches or you can use adjustable wrenches, either one that you happen to have. When you get it, you'll notice this bolt in the front is already in place. And uh, I make it a little bit tight so it doesn't fall off and get lost, but you just loosen it, take it out, and then the tongue is this T-looking thing. You make sure this is on the top. You don't want that on the bottom. Have that on the top and put this with one washer on the head here. You slide this in, line it up. It just goes through and you have your washer and your nut on the other side. This nut is a, a locking nut. It has a nylon insert inside. So when you tighten it up, even if it's not tight against the wood, it won't come off. That's what they're made for. So I'm just tightening it up to where it's just touching the wood, but I don't want to compress this tongue too much. Like you want this a little loose. I don't want to press these pieces of wood together much because it could crack them. And this is supposed to be loose like that. And there you have it, our finished Flower Girl Pumpkin Wagon. Thanks for watching.